fantastic season in, in Syria with uh, Napoli. It must be special to be here at the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, if I dream, uh, uh, also I cannot imagine if uh, one day I came here and I'm so happy, uh, so pleasure to be here and I'm so happy. Do you have memories of one Ballon d'Or, one hero of uh, your youth? No, I, I just respect all players. For me, it's a pleasure to be, uh, be with them because uh, greatest football players here and I'm so happy to be part of them. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, you tried uh, like a month ago. So my question is simple, how's life? Uh, it's perfect, huh? it's perfect. Uh, enjoy life, you know, enjoy family, enjoy the kids. I can do what I want and uh, no, it's a perfect life. But you still watch football? Of course, I have kids, they play football also. I watch on TV when I can. You know, I can do other things also, but yeah. I, at the moment, I don't miss playing football, that's good. Uh, let's see in a few months. And it's also important for you to be here at the Ballon d'Or? No, I, like, the, the truth is like my kids, they asked me to come, you know. Uh, so I was like, OK, let's go together. Let's spend a night in Paris together and, uh, and have fun. Enjoy the night. Welcome to Paris. It's been a special year for you, uh, first with uh, Manchester City and then with uh, Barcelona. You must be a happy man. <laughs> yeah, I'm a very happy man. I'm very happy. Obviously, the last few months were great for me personally, for my family. Um, finishing the chapter of Man City with the travel, you know, all the amazing memories we did uh, in the last few months together. And obviously now fulfilling a childhood dream of myself, you know, joining Barca and um, hopefully also having a special and great year. It's the first time that you're nominated for Ballon d'Or. That, that represents a lot in a career. Yes, definitely. Um, but I think uh, it shows also how much uh, successful you are uh, as a team, you know, as a club. And um, if you, the only way I think of um, being in this kind of list or being a nominee is when you are successful as a club. And that's why football is a team sport. And uh, I'm proud that um, Man City is uh, presented with a lot of people today and obviously also a few people from Barca and hopefully next day we can bring even more Barca players. Enjoy the night. Now Vinicius Junior making his way into just ahead of Real Madrid teammate Jude Bellingham. Uh, your first uh, season at Real Madrid. First of all, a word on the Clasico. That was a pretty good weekend. Yeah, it was a fun one, wasn't it? Yeah, I was um, really happy to play in it. Really emotional game for me watching them as a child, so to play in one and, um, and help uh, win one is really special. Actually, what does it mean for you to play for Real Madrid? Oh, I still get goosebumps talking about it now. Uh, it's the biggest club in the world and I'm just so proud to wear that shirt. I asked Gary Lineker a few moments ago who would be Ballon d'Or in five years. Guess who he said? It wasn't me, was it? Was it? Ah, uh, well, it's very nice of him, you know. For me, it's all about the team awards, but yeah, it's definitely one that you think of when you're a kid. Thank you very much. The Barcelona and Spain midfielder Matana Bonmati. One of the favourites for the women's Ballon d'Or. Joined on the shortlist by Mappe Leon and her Barcelona teammates. Sama Paraluelo. One of four Spain starters from the Women's World Cup final in Australia. To feature on the 30 player shortlist. Fridolina Rolfo of Sweden. Also among the nominees. Scored the winning goal in last season's Champions League final. Rolfo. 3-2 victory over Wolfsburg as Barcelona and came from at two goals behind, thanks in large part, making his way into David Beckham, former England captain, had a brief stint 
Oui, the Athena Street. Oh, we saw you at the Rugby World Cup final. You're here at the Ballon d'Or. You're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, but also on the tennis court a little bit, I think. Uh, you know, it's nice to obviously use the opportunity when I have the tournament in the city where you have uh, some big sporting events like the World Cup uh, finals of, of rugby and, of course, Ballon d'Or. I've never attended uh, neither rugby World Cup final, neither Ballon d'Or, so I'm, I'm really uh, enjoying myself. And you're a big football fan. I am, I am, of course, as <laughs> most of the world, you know, football obviously is by far the, the most popular sport in the world and, you know, I grew up uh, watching football, playing football, my father was uh, professional for some time, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to be here. So who is the next Serbian Ballon d'Or? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it would be amazing if a Serbian player wins uh, Ballon d'Or, but... Uh, you know, we have some, some great players in our generation. I think we have a, the record uh, scorer of a national team, uh, Mitrovic, right now. He's, he's playing uh, amazing, amazing football. Uh, we have Tadic, who is, you know, is a captain of Ajax for, for many years and a captain of our national team. Sergei Milinkovic Savic. You know, we have great players. Uh, obviously, hopefully, they, they will come together and, and, and do some, something significant in European and a World Championship. We are behind them. And, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, with all the players like uh, Messi, Haaland, Mbappé, you know, it's kind of hard to win Ballon d'Or, really. I don't know if it's realistic, but, but they are great players. Enjoy the evening and the tennis. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Kylian Mbappé. Most unfortunate to finish on the losing side on that night. The last December, despite his hat-trick in the final. First hat-trick to be scored in the final of the World Cup since England's Jeff Terce back in 1966. Mbappe nominated for the sixth time, the sixth last year. Highest finish was back in 2018 when he came fourth to helping France. In the 2018 World Cup in Russia. And we're still just 19 years of age. And a seven-time winner of the Ballon d'Or. Will he make it eight now this evening? Now with into Miami, of course, in Major League Soccer. It was his heroics with the national team in Qatar at the end of last year. For Rustin, 